Hi friends, we're back. Today is Friday, it's the last day of the week, and tomorrow is the weekend. So today, we're gonna be doing a lesson on comparing shapes. So we're gonna be taking all the shapes that we learned about, and we're gonna be comparing them. So we're gonna be looking at how they're different and how they're the same. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Also, we will be having a fun Friday video today for our language art, so that'll be really fun. And if you are doing your morning work packet, then today we will be on day 19. And also, if you want to learn how to draw Pikachu, you can click on this, this, word, this link right here, so it's blue. It says how to draw Pikachu. You click on it, and it'll take you to a video on the how to draw over this Pikachu. So let's get started. And we're going to do first is, um, so first thing we're going to do, see how it has two blocks right here. And it says four sides less than four. So let's think of all the shapes we know that have at least four sides. So we know that a square has four sides. And we know a rectangle has four sides. So remember, a rectangle's longer. And we know that a trapezoid has four sides. So we've learned about these shapes that have four sides. Now, on this side, we're going to write the shapes that have less than four sides. So we know a triangle has less than four sides because it has one, two, three sides. And we also know a circle has less than four because it has zero. So these are all the shapes we learned about, and these are all the shapes we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. So it says you can compare and sort two-dimensional shapes. And it says circle the shapes that have straight sides. So on this one, we're going to circle the shapes that have straight sides. Well, this one, this triangle has straight sides, so I'm going to circle that. But this circle doesn't have any sides, so I'm not going to circle it. And then this rectangle has four straight sides, so I'm going to circle it again. So these two have straight sides. What about this one? It says circle the shape with more than three vertices. So this one has one, two three, four vertices. So that has four is more than three, so I'm going to circle it. This rectangle has one, two, three, four vertices, so I'm going to circle that because four is more than three. And this triangle has one, two, three vertices. Oh, but I can't circle it because we're looking for shapes that have more than three vertices. So now we're going to look at these and we're going to circle the shapes that match what they're telling us to do, okay? So number one says circle the shapes with four straight sides. So this square has one, two, three, four straight sides, so I'm going to circle it. This square has one, two, three, four, so I'm going to circle it. Um, this circle doesn't have any sides. This triangle has one, two, three sides. We're looking for four straight sides, not three, so I'm not going to circle the triangle. What about the rectangle? It has one, two, three, four, four straight sides, so we're going to circle that. So we circled two squares and a rectangle. Now for number three, we have shapes with four sides the same length. So we're looking for shapes with four sides that are the same length, okay? So for this one, it has one, two, one, two, three, four sides, right? But they are not the same length. These two sides are a lot longer than these two sides. So we know that it is not, this is not um, the one that we need to circle because their sides are not all equal. So what we're going to do 
we're going to um, erase that. And then on this side, let's look at the, the diamond or the square, okay? This has one, two, three, four sides. And are they all the same length? They are, look, they are all the same size. So we're gonna circle that, all four sides are the same length. What about this one? It has one, two, three sides. A triangle has three sides. We're looking for a shape with four sides. So this is not it. A circle has zero sides, so we know that we don't circle the circle. Um, a square, let's see if they have four sides that are the same length. So one, two, three, four, has four sides. Are they the same length though? Let's see. This is the same length, this is the same. Yeah, all the sides are the same length. Look at that. Now for this one, it says shapes with three vertices. Let's see, so one, two, three. Look at that, this shape has three vertices because it's triangle. What about this one? One, two, three. Look at that, this shape has three vertices too. This is a circle, so it has zero vertices, so we're not gonna circle it. Um, what about this little one here? One, two, three. Yep, three vertices, so we're gonna circle it. What about this? It has one, two, three, Four. No, this one has four vertices, so we're not going to be do circling that one. And finally, for number four, it says circle the shapes with three sides and three vertices. So this doesn't have any sides or vertices, so we're not going to circle that one. This one has one, two, three, four sides. We're only looking for three sides. Let's check this one. This one has one, two, three. It has three sides and one, two, three vertices. So it has three sides and three vertices, so I'm going to circle it. This square has one, two, three, four sides, so I'm not going to circle it. But this triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three vertices. So we're going to circle it. All right, talk math. How do you compare two-dimensional shapes? Well, we compare two-dimensional shapes by looking at their differences and how they're the same, okay? Now, for on my own, you're going to be reading the description and you're going to circle what they tell you to circle, okay? So you're going to take about five minutes do this on your own and come back to this video, okay? So pause in five, four, three, two, one, pause. All right, we're back. So number five says circle the shapes with zero vertices. Well, we know a circle has zero vertices, so we're going to circle that. This square has one two, three, four vertices. We need zero vertices, so I won't circle that. This trapezoid has one, two, three, four vertices, so I'm not gonna circle that. This circle has zero vertices. This triangle has one, two, three vertices, so we're not gonna circle that either. All right, number six, circle the shapes with four sides. So let's see the shapes with four sides. One, two, three, four. Circle it, because it has four sides. This circle has zero sides, so I'm not gonna circle it. What about this trapezoid? One, two, three, four. We're gonna circle it, because it has four sides. What about this rectangle? One, two, three, four. It has four sides. This triangle only has one, two, three sides. We needed four sides, so I'm not going to circle the triangle. All right, number seven. 
shapes with straight sides. So, this one has straight sides. So look at the sides, they're all straight. So I'm going to circle it. This shape has straight sides, so I'm going to circle it. And this shape has straight sides, so I'm going to circle it. But this shape does not have straight any sides at all, so we're not going to circle it. Now for number eight, shapes with zero vertices, meaning a circle. Well, this is a circle, so it has zero vertices. This coin is a circle, so it has zero vertices. And this bowl is a circle, so it has zero vertices. So we circled all of them. For number nine, it says shapes with zero straight sides. This doesn't have any sides. The square has all straight sides, so we're not going to do that. And this cookie is, has no straight sides, but the triangle has straight sides. So we're only circling the cookie and the clock. Now for number 10, shapes that are not curved. Well, this shape is not curved because it's very straight, has a lot of straight lines, if you see, all the straight lines, so we're going to circle it. This one, the shape is not curved either. This one is called a hexagon, I mean a yeah, hexagon, and it's not, um, it has, even though it has a lot of sides, none of them are curved like this, so this is a curved side. So none of them are curved, so we're going to circle it. The American flag is not curved, so we're going to circle it. But this circle, it has a curved side right here. So we are not going to, um, we're not going to circle it because it's not, it's not, um, because it's curved. The lines are curved, okay? All right, number 11. Madeline sees the objects in her school. How many of these objects have more than three sides? Well, this does not have more than three. It has zero sides. This has one, two, three, four sides. So this one has more than three sides. This has zero sides. This has one, two, three, four sides, so this one. And this checkerboard has one, two, three, four sides. So we can say that Madeline, that, that three of these objects have more than four, than more than three sides because they had four sides, that's more than three sides, okay? Now, you're going to circle all the same types of shape and explain why they're all the same. One of these shapes is different. So you're only going to circle the shapes that are the same and tell me why they're the same, okay? All right, that's it for today. Have a great day, friends. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and stay well. Bye.